with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. Studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as part of their communication. Pectoral slaps can be used to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother may use a peck slap to get her calf's attention. But when they really want to be heard, they preach. By hopping is how killer whales get a better view of their surroundings and coordinate when they hunt. themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal.
right here. Antarctic orcas will create waves that wash over floating ice, knocking seals into the water. Nikai is showing off this wave making technique right here, demonstrating one of the many complex and impressive hunting abilities the killer whales have developed around the world.